Okay. Well, let's go get some souls. And then explore this shrine. I feel like we're making progress towards the end of this game. But it seems to be going on a little bit longer than I thought it would. I yeah. thought it was way closer than this. But I guess not. Um, let's get another point in vigor. Alright, use three large nameless souls. That should hopefully get me enough for one more level. Um, have Damn. no idea what I want at this point. I think being able to do three two-handed hits means I have enough endurance. I'm pretty good with vigor. Maybe get adaptability up to 15. I'm just, I'm throwing points around at this point. I'm kind of super over leveled, so it doesn't really matter too much. Or not over leveled, but I, I'm i like level 120 or something. I think I'm in a good spot for stats. Uh, let's quickly see what it would cost to reinforce my maces further. So that would require one and that would require three. So I could get this to plus seven, which would increase it by what looks to be 12 points of damage or if I can get two more of these I can make this plus nine and then I have slabs so I can immediately get it to plus ten right after uh, speaking of such things let's go turn in some items to the crow real quick uh, we've got three of these so let's leave I uh, gotta leave one at a time if I remember correctly uh, uh, trident okay trident's not super useful for me Mostly looking or hoping for chunks. A uh, slab, which again is it technically good, but I already have three and I need chunks. I, I'm not even sure if I can get titanium chunks out of this, but it's at least worth trying. Another trident, really. Okay, well that's the petrified somethings, which are supposed to be the best. So let's do one of these. Uh, cracked blue eye orb, not really that useful. Uh, soul of a lost undead. Okay, well, not what I wanted, but I guess that's fine. Um, I'm lazy, so let's just use a homeward bone and then get to that uh, new zone that I discovered and start exploring there. All right, from here, what do we do? Uh, looks like we head down. Bad luck ahead, in short, think carefully. Well, it looks like there's a pretty set path. Uh, doesn't look like I'll be able to traverse the water very much. So let's just start moving. I've spent all my souls. Um, there's nothing really to lose or not too much to lose. So let's just push forward rec recklessly. Can I, can I pick that up? I want to I want to pick that up. I don't think I can pick that up. All right. Hello. Oh. You're not an NPC. I thought because you were wearing the same thing as me, you were going to be friendly. That was a false assumption. Uh, I see you in there with your eyes. Ooh, chest. Mimic? Not a mimic. Although, should be careful with that, because I almost smashed that chest, it looks like. Uh, some herbs and some spices. Meh. And that's the dead end here. Alright. Back the way we came. Ooh, drop something. Twinkling Titanite. That's cool. I could use that to upla upgrade my helm or my armor. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna walk out here. I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna... Oh, I can actually... Oh, pick up the item. All right, well, like I said, not too much to lose for dying, so that was kind of worth it. Um, well, I don't know about worth it, but it's not that big of a deal. Also interesting that it looks like I am able to walk around on the water down there. I thought that was all going to be like deep water I couldn't traverse, but it does look like it's shallow enough that I can just walk around. Whoa. Whoa! Sparkles means enemies. Ah, he's lightning based, I see. 
monster ahead. Alright, so some of this water is deep, so I do have to be careful about where I step. Can't get around here, so I'm going to have to walk all the way around the outside. Twinkling? Oh, hey! You dropped down from above, didn't you? I'm going to try and heal. Because his health was already damaged. I was not expecting an enemy to come dropping down. Alright, let's go over here and get this item on the other side. Hey, sparkles! Uh, lots of sparkles over this way. Well, I'm just going to ignore it. Human effigy, too. Alright. More sparkles on either side. Three hits and they're dead. Open this door. What does this lead to? Oh. Uh, NPC. And you guys have all followed me, haven't you? Nope. No, no. I didn't have enough stam. I tried spamming the one hand hit to try and win rather than disengaging. Should have probably disengaged. Oh, Arc do gloves. Those might be worth looking at. I do like this armor. Close the door again. Alright, hello. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside, for we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can do. When we sing, the little this when we sing the Okay. Uh that is all of that. Uh she started repeating herself though, so that's probably the end of that dialogue. There is a curse here. Behind treasure ahead. Oh, I see. I just trusted that message and assumed it wasn't a mimic. Surprised there wasn't anything else with that NPC. Especially seeing as it seemed like the same one from the tower, or looked like the same one. The one that was trapped in that cell a little while ago. Uh, and with that being the case, I would have thought that there would have been some more dialogue there. But, I don't know, smooth silky stone is kind of cool, but we just went and turned some of those into the crow, so I'm not going to go do another run for one. Plus, they don't really seem to give me too much of use. I see you running towards me. Oh, there's another one. Didn't see you, though. Whoa, whoa. One-handed swing, and we win. Uh, I'm getting kind of low on health. Probably should use human effigy soon. Some torches and some souls. Some more souls. Probably could wander out that way and see if there's anything of value, but I'm just going to keep pushing forward. Rushing a little bit here, but 
I, again, I kind of feel like I've got everything under control in terms of damage. Like, I feel like this build is pretty solid. It's just a matter of actually just getting through the areas. And not so much about... Finding cool loot. Hmm. I feel like I should... Ah! Hello. I see you. I feel like I should check this way for bonfires. You guys all seem very... docile. You don't really attack until you get really close to them. Nothing? Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, and the small little crevice. Twinkling Titanite, some more smooth silky stones. I can't fit. Alright, uh, I was really hoping there was going to be a bonfire here, but it looks like we'll have to just sprint through those enemies every time we go to fight this boss, whatever this boss is. Although it could always just be a fog door to another area, but I got a bad feeling that we're going to have to fight through yet another boss fight here. We've gotten through two today. Let's see if we can get through another. Uh, let's use a flask and try and figure this one out. Ah, not a boss. Alright, cool. Just a fog door to another entrance. Or another another zone. Whoa, magic? Ooh, bonfire. Cool. Uh, let's get some flasks back, because we had used three. There's a summoning sign over there, which I'm not going to pay attention to. Alright, let's go, mage. Mages are super weak. Oh, and these ones don't even do that much damage with their little homing arrows. Also, their homing arrows seem pretty easy if you can get close enough. They don't turn very quick at all. Uh, what's that over there? Ghost or enemy? Looks like ghost. Another enemy over there. Shooting missiles. Ah, stop poking me. Also, ah, enemies in the water. Okay, we're gonna... Maybe that's why that other ghost I saw was jumping, because maybe that doesn't alert them. Oh, maybe that's why they're super docile, as they only sent you when you move through the water? Might be something like that, I'm not sure. Alright, uh... Whoa, did not even see you. I thought that was just another pillar. Mace guys aren't that hard, though. Oh, you might be a more powerful mace guy than I'm used to fighting. I am doing dual wielding, right? Okay, there we go. I think I was, but I think I just turned it off. Oh, no. Still pretty weak. I must not have been connecting very well with the previous hits. Alright. Is there another one somewhere I didn't see? Yeah, one back there. Oh, and one forward too. I really need to heal right about now. I'm gonna try here. Okay, and then... Oh, there's more to the side of me. Can't really see. Gonna try and heal. There's one right here. Oh! The water here isn't as deep. Okay, so here, water too deep. Can't actually sprint very well on it. Here, we can jump across, stay on the higher elevation. Here, we're in the water, but can run pretty quick. Grab those, I guess. 
Uh, we can sprint over to this section. Uh, we are out of stamina, which makes this way harder to dodge this stuff. Can't go through that doorway. Okay, we've passed the threshold. Should have enough time to heal, hopefully. I have no idea where to go from here. Let's follow the stones. And we have a doorway. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna try and heal as they get stuck trying to figure out how to use doors. Okay. And I doubt the mages can hit me in here, so now I have time to do stuff. So picking up more silky stones. Actually gathered enough that I might actually want to go back to the crows again. Uh, we're back out here. I'm not seeing any mages, just one of those mace dudes, and there's a fog door. Okay, let's take a time. Heal. All right. Just get him out of the way. Now. I should probably figure out the actual correct path to navigate here. Um, this is high. Beware below then try torch. Interesting. Might want a torch it sounds like. Okay, we can get over to this little area. Oh, we got a mage. And another hammer guy. Who is annoying. Okay, get back on the ground so I can move a little bit quicker. Man! Okay, he's dealt with. The problem isn't dealing with these guys once though, because it looks like there's a fog door up ahead. And now I'm trapped in a corner. So. Okay, I need to get through this area once. Like, I was really trapped there, too. Do not fall off into that specific spot. Um, I need to get through this area once, and then once I get through this area once, I've got a feeling there's a boss, which means I'm going to have to, like, traverse this area multiple times. I don't know. I guess it's possible it could be... I gotta... I, it could be that that's another transitional fog door that just leads between two areas. I also just noticed a knight out there in the middle of the water, which is kind of weird. There's a ton of these lizards over here, so I want to fight them first. Now I'm bleeding. Oh! I'm trying to use a flask. There we go. Okay, bleeding went away pretty rapidly. Um, there's definitely stuff on the outer edges of this area. Hmm. Once I move forward to this platform, I'm going to have that mage start shooting at me. I want this mace guy to trigger. So I move up and then... Nope, still not coming forward enough. Mace guy? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have him shooting magic bolts at me for the rest of this Heart. Man, he does not seem slow down in the least by the water. I'm going to try and heal. Okay. Healing. Three swings and he's out. Alright, now I don't have to deal with moving slowly in the water and getting hit by that mace guy and the mage. So I should be able to get to the mage a little easier now. Let's progress forward to the edge. And then try and get to the mage.
Mage down. Okay, we've got two mace dudes and what looks to be another mage guarding this fog door. There's also an item over there. Okay. Mace guy's incoming. Oh, lost lock. I'm going to stand here and take the hits because I know I can survive and then heal. Rather than trying to roll away, getting stuck in the water, I just want to stay on land. Dragon shield. More robes. Okay, I'm going to try ignoring the guy in the water and go for this fog door. Okay, it is just a transition to another area, which is huge. Oh, I don't know what that cloud is. Okay, just going to use lightning to clear these guys. Should be able to kill the last one with a couple quick swings. And then back to maces. Bonfire, bonfire, bonfire! Okay, and I never have to deal with that section again. Which is great. Oh, hello? Oh, you're just, you're a player, uh, ghost avatar thing. Um, whoa. Okay, can't just run past the mushrooms. Okay, that, that actually makes me feel way better. The fact that that was a, um... That wasn't that this wasn't a boss room, but this led to a bonfire because I think most of the time in this game they seem to design it in such a way that like you can sprint past all the enemies to get to a boss real quick from whatever bonfire is closest to that boss, um, and that did not seem like that kind of situation. If this was a boss room and I would have had to fight my way through that, would have had to fight my way through that water room every time. That would have been pretty awful. Well, we have another water room to move through, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go repair my stuff, and I'm going to hope that big mushroom doesn't spawn when I come back. Okay, equipment restored. Cost me a few souls, but that's fine. And then we're three bonfires in, apparently. All right, big mushroom does spawn, so I'm going to need to use ranged on the big mushroom because it looks like when you get close, he just kind of perma clouds. Well, that takes a little bit of time in order to in order to kill that big one with lightning bolts. Next area, we have a ton of mages. There was a message saying try range combat. I don't really have much range other than my magic spells, and I can't lock on from here. So instead, we're going to just walk away to our death. Um, so there's edges that I need to be concerned about. Okay, mushrooms dealt with. I'm just going to cut that part of the fighting because it's going to be the same fight every time and it just takes a little bit. Um, let's walk up to this pillar and light a torch because I'm going to need to be able to see where the edge is. It looks like I do have to walk forward into this fight. There's lots of sparkles on the ground too. Hey mage. Can I walk? Oh, rolling douses the fire. Alright, well I'm going to assume that this is all safe. Dark spirits, yay! Uh, oh, doors. Huts are always safe places to go. Let's head inside here. Um, let's maybe deal with you. Wow, that kind of one-shot me, didn't it? 
Well, there's an NPC there I want to talk to as well, but I was hoping to deal with the invader before talking to him, but I may have to try and... well, hmm. There's options. Okay, at least this time I know that I can kind of stay along the edge here, and I'm fine. Uh, I can kind of get close enough to you to oh, try and dodge, which I failed to do. Uh, move forward. Uh, heal. You're going to summon again, but that's fine. I know where I'm going now, so I can just run past. Opening the door. Grabbing souls. Oh! I talked to him and he disappeared. Into lights. That was weird. Right? Dodging the invader and entering the mist.